We're definitely watching this, Lisette. Oh, absolutely. Adalia is intensifying this morning, guys. As of the 5 a.m. advisory, if you're just waking up and joining us, here's the latest update from the National Hurricane Center, and it is finally beginning to lift northward at seven miles an hour. is nearly stationary over the weekend here, and it is bringing hurricane conditions to Cuba as conditions will deteriorate there. Now, Adalia is forecast to continue moving generally to the north and then take a turn to the northeast, but notice how as soon as by tomorrow could be a category two hurricane and then by tomorrow night into Wednesday morning it is expected to become a major category three hurricane with max sustained winds of 115 miles per hour headed towards likely the Big Bend of Florida so it could be anywhere here along parts of the northern part of our state to even Tampa and keep in mind although here in South Florida we are not included in the cone the cone only indicates where the center may be tracking so we will see impacts extending well out and away from the center, and we're going to be on the east side of the system. So even though the center of Adalia will be likely well to our west, we will be dealing with gusty downpours and the potential for severe weather. And then Adalia will continue to lift to the northeast and impact the southeastern United States and eventually weaken. But as for now, we do have a tropical storm warning in place for the dry Tortugas, as well as a tropical storm watch for the Keys. And then up and down the Gulf Coast, we do have hurricane hurricane watches in place already. Take a look at some of the peak storm surge that could occur anywhere from 7 to 11. And then for us, we could see anywhere from 1 to 2. And then we're talking about the gusts as we head into Wednesday. Gust as high as into the 20s and 30s. The keys obviously dealing with the brunt of the gustier downpours and gusts as high as 38, 40 miles per hour will be possible there. And then, of course, along the Gulf Coast north of us, that's where the worst weather is expected. However, for us, storms do begin to increase today. Heads up. The main time of the impacts will be tomorrow and Wednesday with gusty tropical rain bands, the threat for flooding, even isolated tornadoes, breezy to windy conditions.